Okay, so yeah, this is the Mongoose Traveler 2 character creation class. Uh, we're going to cover um, just from the beginning, uh, teach it as if you don't know anything about what the uh, character sheets look like and the characteristics, what they all mean. And we're going to cover some of the skills and, and how we make roles here, uh, what we call skill checks in Traveler. Uh, a couple things. Um, I'm going to say it for the stream. Uh, if you if you already know it, you know it is that we don't level up in Traveler. Uh, we don't gain experience. Uh, we can improve on our skills through training over time, um, and we can improve our characteristics through augmentation or cybernetics. Uh, but overall, coming out of character character creation, that's that's primarily what you're going to be stuck with for for a long while. Um, I am going to start sharing some of the uh, the links I have. I'm going to start off by covering the characteristics. This is before, as soon as I, after I share this, then I'm going to cover your character sheet, so then you can do a side by side. So coming in game chat, I'll be dragging and dropping the TAS symbol. It is a clickable link, and it should open up to the uh, core rulebook. Um, let me know if that is loading for you. It is currently in the chat. It, it didn't just pop up for me. Yeah, you do have to click on click on the the link in the chat. I can share ah, it gotcha. if you want. I'm afraid. Uh, so, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to get a bunch of windows, and real estate is very limited uh, eventually in, in Fantasy Grounds. So I, I want it so you guys can can manage that. Uh, and, and what what I, I want you to do once you have that open, did it load? Yeah, I got it open. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do just the vanilla rolling for uh, this, the six characteristics. We're gonna do the 2D and just create a pool. No uh, no boon dice or no point by alternate rules. We're just gonna go just kinda straight out of the core. Uh, um, we have, uh, it's like I just said, six characteristics. We have three physical characteristics, which is your strength, dexterity, and endurance. It is also your hit point pool, so more like real life, as your uh, you know endurance starts going down, uh, you, you get worse and worse, uh, you get more fatigued, and you get worse at doing a function. And then you, you typically pick after that the order of either dexterity or strength, and which pool is going to be lost out of first. But each one will get lost to zero before moving to the next one, one taking actual uh, combat damage. Uh, next up are our mental characteristics of intellect, education, and social standing. Uh, for tonight's, tonight's class, we won't use um, uh, well, I'm thinking psionics. We're just going to keep with these six. Uh, social standing is kind of unique in that it works uh, in other as as in other systems like charisma, uh, but it also has more of a passive uh, thing going on where it is your rank in the the nobility here in the third imperium. I do want to share um, if you click on that careers that I had just linked if you scroll to the bottom it does show you the noble titles if you're interested uh, so if you get a social standing of 11 or higher you start having possible titles uh, but you go ahead and close that careers that one you don't need to have open immediately um, as I start sharing these TAS symbols you can drag and drop the, the, the link it's a link uh, to the hot bar at the bottom so you have a quick recall on it in the uh, virtual tabletop itself. Any any questions about uh, linking at if you're trying to do that to your hot bar? No, I'm all good. Yeah, if you see my stream, you can see my hot bar is already pretty much pre-filled. Okay, so we just covered our six characteristics. We're going to do one thing before we just initiate a character sheet. We're going to go to your library in the bottom right-hand corner in the menu on the right side. Go to library. And we're going to go, once your library window is open, to the bottom left, to modules. And I ended up sharing the core rulebook. Uh, if you own it, you would have already had it. Uh, if you don't own it, then it is shareable. It's just like we're at the kitchen table passing books around. So you, you want to go ahead and load your core rules. Um, if you have your core rules loaded, you will not need the player's reference loaded. So I just recommend just taking the core rules. That way, uh, as we have questions and I share stuff, uh, it links to the core rules properly. So I'll uh, give you a second. Every, do you guys both have your core rules loaded? 
Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, we are about to have Alex join. Uh, she is gonna. She's done character creation once, so this won't. This will be good. All right. Next step. Well, we're gonna go ahead and create our first character sheet. So, on the right menu is a PCs button. If you just click that button, you'll have a character selection. It'll likely be empty on your end. Uh, it should be if you haven't already started playing around with it. What you wanna do to create your first character here on Fantasy Grounds is you're gonna hit the green add item button. Great. Once you have that, I see, yep, start. You could type your name or the, the name you want to use for, for this temporarily. And going forward, I'll refer to you, you all by the character names, not your Discord name. It'd be easier for me than flipping back and forth. All right, so you can see that on the, the main tab, which is the tabs around the right side of the character sheet, uh, we have... Uh, the characteristics section, which is strength, dex, and endurance, and intellect, education, and social, like we had talked about. Uh, we're going to have additional information, such as age, gender, race, and homeworld. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about age and race tonight. You could build on your gender and homeworld uh, on your own time after this, or if it was a real zero-day character creation, then, you know, with, with a bunch of people at your table, then you would probably want to flesh that out, because it's a good role-playing session. Uh, racial traits, that'll update itself when we select our race. Uh, allies, contacts, and enemies, and rivals, we'll fill that out as we go. If your uh, referee already has a list of possible NPCs that could fit those roles, you'd use that. Or during character creation, we have this thing called the connection rule. If you have a life event that connects one player to another, the players will chime in and say, hey, I can make a player connection on that. And you could role play that out, and you would each gain one skill uh, increase. Uh, you can't have more than three connections in a character creation, so you guys shouldn't have a problem uh, maxing that out tonight. All right, next tab is our skills tab. It is empty except for unskilled skills. As we start doing the character creation, we'll be dragging and dropping our skills in here, then updating the level as we go based on our die rolls. Uh, we'll have an inventory tab as the third tab. Uh, just for tonight, if you if we when we muster out and roll for our benefit rolls, we'll update that, but we're not gonna go on a shopping spree tonight. Just whatever you get during character creation. Aw, oh, darn. Yeah, if you are if you come to my one shot, I got one more and it's this Saturday and you bring your character, there is about a 30 minute shopping session after the patron gives the actual mission out. So that way you could shop to the mission. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, the next tab is personal tab. This one is actually pretty important for tonight. Um, you look at career history and you, you hit the red edit list uh, hexagon with a white line through it. Uh, that is how you're going to track each term, right? And again, we're going to do at least three terms a night, hopefully. Um, if uh, For each term, you'll put your career and branch and events and the rank that you get and all that stuff, and it's easy to track that way. Uh, we're all starting as, as fresh-faced 18-year-olds or whatever the alien equivalent is to that, and each term is going to be four years at a time. So at the end of this, you can just do four times how many terms you do and update your main tab with your age uh, by adding that number to 18. Uh, and then background in notes, I'll show you a way that you could actually uh, drag and drop the results of your character creation into your notes for, for future reference and background. And last but not least is the actions tab. Um, we'll, we'll cover this at the end. Um, just to, so we could, we could play with it, because you're going to see the characteristic statuses are going to change on us. It might be a glitch or it might be intentional, but we will have to update it at the end. And we can do a little, some quick mock rolls with any weapons that we have, just so you can see it. All right, Alex, you on headset? I'm here. Cool. Are you ready to roll? I saw you created a character sheet. Uh, I think so. Okay, I'm going to share the characteristics as you did miss uh, one of my shares already. So in the game chat is that characteristics table again. Excellent, excellent. Okay. 
All right. And now for the fun one. Go ahead. I don't need that. Here is the semi-world famous creating a traveler flowchart from Mongoose uh, Traveler 2. It's coming to your screens now. Uh, the TAS link is in chat. That way you have a quick reference if you drag and drop it in your hotbar. Uh, the green pins on here do not come that way with the core rules. It's actually something I did on my prep time. Is I, I dragged and dropped the links to the um, to the digital version of the core rules. So so that way that you should have some quick quick links in some of these sections. I can't do it for every career, so the middle section is is empty. I'll be sharing that as we go. It'll be a lot of a lot of hot drop in chat as I share tables and uh, career links, but. Um, for now. I do want to give you this career summary table. Take a quick gander at it. Um, this game uses a 2D system. So 2D is 2D6. Uh, there's only six-sided polyhedrals here, nothing else. Uh, to get into any of your careers, you will make that roll. I'll say, say agent. It's the first one I'm seeing. You will have to make an intellect roll. Uh, based on the modifier of your intellect uh, and, and to get in to qualify as a six or higher. So keep that in mind if you kind of know what you want to be when you grow up and if you think you want to stay in that profession, so that means you have to survive, uh, take a look at some of these um, on your time. Um, I'm in my 40s and I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Exactly. You tr most travelers don't find <laughs> out until their 30s or 40s anyway. So. Um, and then, and just like in real life, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, and this game will punch you in the face. So I'll give you a, a few seconds to, to review that, because uh, the next part of this is we're actually going to ro roll for our characteristics pool. We'll let us make a pool of, of six, six rolls, and that way you get assigned uh, the results to your characteristics as you desire. That way you, you, we could, you could attempt to get into what you want to be. And for tonight, this is going to be slow and methodical. I am going to work left to right on my screen as I see my players. So it will go Alex, Conspiracy, and Bill Guy. And we're going to take turns uh, in each term one at a time doing it that way. So don't, don't get ahead or roll with another player because it's going to be too much to track in the chat. So starting with Alex, I'm going to need six 2d6 die rolls for your characteristic pool. I think that was six of them. Yeah, three, six. Yep. So eight, five, ten, four, six, and four. Hang on, hang on. I have to navigate to my notes page. Okay, what are they again? Yes, yeah, so you have a an eight, a five, a ten, a four, a six, and a four. I like my rolls for my last session better. Yeah, yeah. Two fours isn't good. <laughs> Those were much nicer. These are kind of ick. But you have one really good one out of ten, so. That'll be your, your leading strength. Okay, next up is Conspiracy. Uh, yep, you already got it. It's kind of similar low rolls, except you had threes instead of fours. So let's see, you have a five, an eight, a three, a three, a five, and a ten. Uh, you could update your character sheet uh, by by left clicking your mouse into the characteristic box that you want to update and typing in the value. I'll watch to make sure you get one of them updated before I move on to Bill. A 
Okay, yep, it looks like you got it, so go ahead and keep filling it out. All right, Bill, uh, six two Ds. Yep, okay, so seven, seven, five, eight, eight, nine. Very average. Yeah, serious. I got a one plus one, one minus one, and the rest are zeros. Yep. Okay, as you're filling that out, I'm going to reshare the creating a traveler flowchart. I did add a yellow box to it. And as the ref, I'm going to move that box around uh, the board here, kind of like a Ouija board, so we can kind of keep keep together and see where we're at and you understand what I'm asking. I'll give you all a few more minutes to keep updating your character sheets. Oops. Okay, conspiracy. You updated? I'm um, just yeah, just getting there. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. What I'm gonna do? I'll put a vote in chat. Just uh, check your circle when you're ready. How did you do the vote? All right, so um, it was it's called forward slash, and then I typed in vote. If you do a forward slash command, just um, it's right next for me. It's my right shift that forward slash, and hit yep. enter. I'll give you a list of, of slash commands. Oh, excellent! All right, and then I yeah. didn't realize that was there. Yep, and vote. I usually do like vote, and then in uh, the in the carrots it says message. I do like ready check usually in a game yep. when we're coming back from break. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. All right, so we did our A. We're not going to do our B. We're going to do our our no C. So we just need to do a race. All right. Next, uh, we have in our core rulebook, we have uh, three base races. We have uh, human, or sometimes it's referred to as the Humanati, because there are sub races in, of the humans. If you go into Aliens, the Charter of Space, volumes one and two. Uh, but for the core rule, we're going to stick with just the base human. Uh, we have our Varger, which is the uh, canine species, and then the Aslan's, the uh, the feline alien race, like the uh, the uh, African Saharan lion. So, in order to update your character sheet with a race, uh, have your character sheet open on the main tab. Uh, go to the right on the menu side and go to races. If you loaded the core rules, you will see the three options. And all you do is drag and drop the race that you want onto your character sheet right over the race line. So Alex has got it. All right, Bill. Uh, so did Bill, did you get a bunch of uh, chat in game on all the updates that made your sheet when you did it that way? Yes, it did. You seen that updated your racial traits that should have updated any characteristics. Yep, so very cool. Any conspiracies got human? All right, and then the uh, really kind of the third and final step before we move the the uh, the highlighter on the the flow chart is uh, I want you all to select a portrait now. So to select a portrait and also assign you a game token is you will double click in the hex with the uh, you know the orangeish yellow outline. Uh, there will be a, a folder that looks like an isometric box called data and double click in there. And then what is, you're going to have is a bunch of bags or boxes or folders of uh, possible tokens and portraits. Um, if you hover over it, it'll tell you what that is. 
I think there is a FG sci-fi one. A lot of players have been finding that one good. But if you own anything uh, that you want to use, it's anything you own. No, that is not me. I just, you know, kept trying to double click and oh, that was the one right beneath what I clicked. Yeah, you go you can reselect again. It's not you're yeah. not committed to it. Yeah, sometimes um figuring out exactly where it's actually pointing to takes a little getting used to. Okay, I do see three portraits, and feel free to, to update them as you want later, or as we go. Very cool. All right, so... Uh, as close as I'm going to get to a, to, an, uh, to a Varger anyways. Okay, so here we... I'm going to go ahead and share the Creating a Traveler flowchart again yeah, there in game chat. We're going to refer to that. So we just finished our characteristics. We rolled 2D for every character and calculated our modifiers. The game calculated a modifier for you. You see that... Um, if you want to give me a uh, intellect roll, all you would do is double click in the modifier box underneath intellect, and it'll it'll roll that that die for you. I do it for everybody just for proof of concept, and you can see what it see in here and feel feel it all. Cool. So yeah. So Did my dice it. ricochet off yours? <laughs> it looked like it. All right, so when we start rolling to get into our qualifications, that's that's the characteristic that we're going to set. Um, that That's how we do it. All right, next up is our background skills package. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in chat, and I'll share it on your screen. It's coming your way. We get to start with a DM plus three based on your education score. So it is really three plus or minus your education modifier. So just, um, so Alex, it looks like you'll get three. Conspiracy will get three. And Bill will get three. Okay. So kind of keep that window open. We're going to have three windows open now. You, you, you minimize that flow chart. Have your character sheet. And then the third window you want to have now is the skills tab out of the right side menu. So if you can kind of position the three so they're all kind of closely related but not overlapping, that'd be ideal. Um, I do different resolutions. You'll, you'll have different size windows, and I get it. That's why I try not to keep oversharing. So uh, going to your character sheet to the skills tab, you will simply select each of your three, your three skills from the background skills by grabbing the TAS symbol out of the skills window directly to your character sheet and that will update your skill to zero. We do not get a specialty, so if it, if it asks something in parentheses, you cannot take that as a base skill. And while we're, we're on this subject, um, as we increase our skills, if it does not have a specialty, then that, that is the one that you increase. But if you gain a, a improvement in a skill that does have a specialty, then you pick the specialty to improve it upon. I'll give you a few while you, you start picking uh, what you want, what you think you're going to need. Just kind of watching, following along. This is nice thing. That's one of the few things a GM can see on their side is what the players are updating on their character sheets. 
I can't see your actual window, but I can see uh, your seat. Looks like we have our base skills. All right, before I move on to the next part of our flowchart, I want to go over a, uh, a in-game mechanic and how it works in Fantasy Grounds. So the referees typically sets a task difficulty. Technically, the rules will tell you what the task difficulty is. Uh, that is what the results of your die roll plus or minus your DM, your, your dice modifier, needs to equal for it to be a success. So right now you see task difficulty in the, in the kind of the bottom left of your screen in that dice stack is set to zero. Uh, an average roll obviously is seven, I could set that. Uh, however, most things go off of even numbers and they, they classify it from simple to impossible. So I could click through it as a ref and set the uh, task difficulty. That's gonna be important um, to, to wait until a task difficulty is set before you make your dice roll because the, uh, the automation feature will account for whatever it's currently at once you execute that uh, dice roll. Now one thing I do want to share is that uh, the players have agency over this. Um, and the reason, the rationale behind it is the, the, there are players that know what the, there are flat, we know what a uh, faster to light jump is going to be. It's always going to be a four for your astrogation and a four for your J drive operation engineering uh, unless the ref says otherwise. So players will, will and, and some tables will be able allowed to manipulate it. So you could see that, there you go. You guys go ahead and start hitting simple, easy, routine, up to impossible, right? That's affecting the whole table. So um, what I'm gonna ask for this session is that you don't touch it and you just let your ref, uh, let me set it. Uh, that way we're all on the same page and not having to reroll die or, or uh, retcon something because we realized the test difficulty was off. All right, and that, that's true true for the entire um, experience while you're doing character creation or an adventure. All right. All right, so sharing the Creating a Traveler flowchart one more time. We are ready to move on to pre-career education. All right, like I said, we're going to start from left to right. Uh, for me, it's going to be Alex. She'll be going first. The pre-career education is going to be a first-term option in lieu of going and choosing an actual career. Uh, you have two options. You could go to a university or you go to a military academy. There is no consequence to not getting accepted uh, other than the, the letter from your, your school saying, we regret to inform you that. Uh, and then that's about it. If you don't get in the university, then you go. You do have to choose a career. Uh, so there's no no consequence for not getting into university or military academy. So starting with that, the, my question I pose uh, to Alex is: Do you wish to go to attempt a pre-career education? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Military academy. All right, I do have I do have them pinned. If you want to take a look at it, oh wait a minute, um, that one's creating a traveler, not a military. Yeah, I was, I was just okay. about to say. Yeah, um, let me let me remove that one. Yeah. There we go. But so I'm gonna bring up the military camera. Okay, I mean, I'll pin it, but I'll share it with you in one second. So there it is in game chat. I'm gonna set up the pin real quick so it's proper. That should be, there it is, yep, that's proper now. So military academy. There we go. Mm -hmm. So you have the three main branches of Army, Marines, and Navy. Do you know which military academy you'd like to join? Navy. Navy, so Navy will require an intellect of nine, so I'm gonna set the task difficulty to nine. Okay, and I'm ready for your intellect roll. Got a 10. Oh, I like this. Right. Question, why was difficulty set to ten to, to nine? All right, so on, um, let me go ahead and show that, open up the military link I just shared in chat. 
Right. Yeah. I'm and, looking at. And, oh, and so, sorry, sorry. The academy. Sorry, I was thinking of the, oh, the, uh, the, uh, the career. Yep. My bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's but it's good because this is good for for anybody that's watching. Is I'm going off the entry, uh, whatever the number is, is what I set to the task difficulty. Okay. So we are in the military academy. The answer is yes, and you are in. So already you're gonna gain these skills. So let's go ahead and read that together. You get uh, skills, you gain all service skills of the military career that it is tied to at level zero. So uh, let me bring up the, you said Navy, right? I'm, yep, I've, I've got the Navy service skills already. Yeah, already got it. But yeah, I'll share it so the players, could, everybody at the table can see what we're gonna look at. So Alex is gonna take all six skills out of that Navy service skills um, and, and set it at zero. If she already had one of them at zero because she got it in the basic uh, package, she would not increase it from zero to one. It does have to stay at zero for this initial uh, turn. That's why I already have it up to make sure I didn't double them up. Uh, yep. I had that problem last time. I decided to avoid it this time. <laughs> Well, you know when you're next, ready for the next part, Alex? I think I got them all. Okay, so unlike the university, your education does not increase. All right. right. Uh, next is the pre-career event table. So I just shared that in chat. Uh, by clicking on any table I share in chat, the player can open it. And by clicking on the blue die, it'll tell you what's gonna happen. It'll roll it for you. So a supposedly harmless prank goes wrong and someone gets hurt, physically or emotionally. Roll a social of eight plus, let me set it. If you succeed, gain a rival. If you fail, gain an enemy. If you roll a two, you must take a prisoner career in your next turn. Give me that social roll. Sorry. I take notes. <laughs> yep, you're good. Um... And I think, Alex, if you're doing it, you, I'll share it to everybody else. On your personal tab, if you want to just drag and drop that sh that chat, you could drag that whole sentence paragraph and, uh, and drag and drop it to your uh, events under notes if you want. And she, she did it. I see that she did it. And she's going to update it based on this die roll. I can already see her prepping. Sorry, you called for a what kind of roll again? It is going to be a social. Right? Test difficulty is set. You want? Oh, lovely. Don't want <laughs> snake eyes. I'll probably get snake eyes. Oh, no. So sick. I so, failed, but I, yeah, I, I didn't get snake eyes, but I failed. All right, so you have a rival. So go ahead and, and annotate that in your notes. You could uh, also on the main tab just put a, a rival, just type type rival in. No. Times one. Fail is an enemy. Oh, an enemy. An enemy. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Well. Yeah. Oh, you get an enemy. Cool. Yeah, if you fail, you get an enemy. Sorry. Yep, so yeah, update it with an enemy. And then tell me when you're ready, and we'll, we'll see if we can roll for graduation. Graduation roll is... Yep, 
It's going to be an intellect of 8+. plus. But you have opportunities for dice modifiers of a plus 1 if your endurance is 8 or higher. Which, which it, it is. is. So make sure you hit the plus 1 in the dice stack in the bottom left. And another plus 1 if your social is 8 or higher. Which it is not. Which it is not. So my task difficulty is set. So give me the intellect to see if you graduate. Oh yes! Oh. You not only did you graduate, you graduated graduate with, with honors. honors. All right, graduation benefits. If entering the same military career as the academy, then you will get a uh, your skill increase. And select any three service skills and increase them to level one. Nice. Uh, increase education by an additional one. There we go. If a traveler graduated with honors, increase your social by one. So you kind of get out of that. That fun stat. Okay. All right, and so... you and you get automatic entry into the uh, the career that's linked. So you'll we will go straight to navy as a officer. Okay, that is my plan. Okay. Um, okay. So that is. Let me read all this and process it, and you can move on to the next person. Yep. Thank you. So for Alex, I, if you're following that flow chart, uh, she graduates. She would and she would start her term two. She would just follow it over to here, but we're gonna stay linear together, right? So that my next player that is starting their term one is Conspiracy. Yep, or Trophy University. Okay, let me give you the university. It is in chat. Um, to gain entry is gonna be a task difficulty of seven on an education roll. So when you're ready, go ahead and give me that education. Oh, and I'm sorry. Did you have a social of nine or higher? I forgot. You do. You get a plus one, so don't make that roll yet. Make sure you hit the plus one button in that nice in that dice stack at the bottom. That way, it'll, it'll apply that plus one to your your education roll. Success. As yeah, everybody's coming up bases. Okay, so don't jinx me, please. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I need somebody to. So we could have a teaching moment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and that's correct, Alex. So yeah, if your gun combat is at zero, if it was at zero, then it increased by one, then you pick the specialty and put that at one. But if you already had a specialty, then it'll go one to two, two to three, etc. Okay, so in the university, we have, first up is choose a level 0 and a level 1 skill from the following list. Uh, conspiracy, do you have that university's um, link open to the page? Yes, yes okay. I do. Okay, so yeah, you have admin, advocate, all the way to science of any. If you have, take anything in that any, that any is a specialization, which means you that will be a 1. Wrong. All right. I would have thought you would only select that if you do the level 1 skill with it. Right, so um, we'll, we'll take, um, we'll just go to electronics. We'll look at it together. Yep. Okay, so if you go to the electronics skill window, or in the skills window and go to electronics, yep. um, the electronics base uh, will, can never be above a zero, right? Yep. The specializations can go to a one. Now, you could take electronics and make that your zero. That's, that's right. really cool. But if you want to yep. use your one on, say, sensors, then your electronics sensors will go to one. But by default, yep. you'll actually get electronics at zero. Right. It kind of okay, cool. bleeds down that way. Yep. And then, and then I would still leave you another zero skill to choose from. You'll see, um, if anybody's familiar with pen and paper, we usually fill it all out zeros across the board well, for all the, um, the specializations once we once we crack into it. Uh, but, but by default, um, the way this was programmed is the uh, it's going to use say, say we were we'll, we'll stay with the electronic sensors role and I asked for an electronics comms role well you would just make an electronics role and that would that would suffice rather than setting your comms to zero because by default no. it's going to drop it in as a one Those done. Let's 
see, I see, um, you took the medic, was there... I had medic at zero, so I've taken medic at level one. Okay, and, and then... Take, and take. I see, and then, do you still get a level zero? You choose a level zero and a level one skill from the list. I have, I've done advocate. Oh, you took advocate, I see that, okay, yep. sorry, all right, perfect. Okay, next up on university, uh, you gain an EDU of plus one already. You didn't have to graduate like the military academy, so go ahead. And you may change your education from an 8 to a 9. Yep. Right. Now we're to make an int roll. Yep, and when you're ready, once your education is updated, then the intellect roll for graduation is a 7 up. Uh, and no modifiers to this. So go ahead and give me the intellect. Oh, we did forget something. Hold up on the graduation. Uh, well, yep. it's a failure. We forgot the events. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did too. So here's your pre-career events. You may not have had the opportunity to make that roll, but if you do, we're, we're keeping the five. Yep. All right, war comes and a wide-ranging draft is instigated. You can either flee and join the drifter career next term or be drafted. All right, and that's your table for draft. Either way, you do not gain a graduation this term. So we already knew you weren't going to anyway. All right. However, if your social is a nine or higher, you can get enough strings pulled to get you out of this. Let's see if you're if it's worth talking about. What's your uh, My social? Oh, team. it is ten. Yeah, this can be done. Okay, so you, we get some strings pulled to get you uh, through this. Um, so go ahead and tell me what you want to do. I might try and pull the strings and not get drafted, even though I know I'm going to fail university. Yep, that, that allows you just to make a career choice then. That makes sense. So yep. go ahead. Uh, let me set that to nine then. All right, we are ready for your social role. Nice. So not a drifter, and you avoid the draft. Your your family gets you out of it. So, yes. you're, yep, you will not graduate because we already knew you rolled a five. But that yep. means when you start term two, you do get to choose your career without any of the graduation yep. benefits. Yes. Yep. Okay, great. So go ahead, Conspiracy, now uh, on your character sheet. Go down to the um, personal tab. I didn't cover this with Alex because she's, she's done one class with me already. But go to your personal tab. Yep. Go, go ahead and hit the edit list. It's the red uh, button with the white dash. And for your first term, you go ahead and put university. Done that. All right, and there's no branch. And then the events, you could say you, you dodged the draft or something. Just uh, short. And there's no rank or title for this this term one. But this is that, that way we could track the terms visually this way. It's a nice little tracking yep. tool. That actually makes sense. Yep. But it'll make may, way more sense when we actually start getting promoted in our uh, advance in, in careers. It'll look real cool. And it'll help us with our muster out then. Excellent. Okay. So conspiracy. Next up is Bill Guy. Bill Guy. Back on that flow chart. Uh, do you want to go to university or military? Naval academy? academy, please. All right. Naval Academy. Here is the link for the military academy. Go ahead and move you over kind of halfway. You said naval, and that is a intellect of a nine up. It is set, so I am ready for the intellect. Is there any, uh, yep, no DMs to this? Failure. Okay, so no consequence. So in that case, can I go try for the Navy career then? Yes, you may. So I'm gonna give you the Navy. Here comes your Navy link. This is the whole page on the, the reference. So to qualify will be now a intellect of six up. It's like, I, if I roll like that again, I'll make it. Yeah. Excellent. Couldn't do that the first time, could I? 
Oh, that's what you needed. So you had to say check, you did succeed in your qualification role. So then if this is your first term, you get to go to, for you it's basic training, but you get your base skill package. So Navy service skills, I just shared it with you in chat. Uh, that's pilot, vac suit, athletics, gunner, mechanic, and gun combat, all to zero. If you do not have any of those skills at zero, go ahead and update your character sheet now. All uh, right, service skills are in. Okay. Next up on our flow chart, we're going to roll for survival and move. I'm just being methodical and moving the highlighter around on that. So the survival check on the Navy. So we do need to know now uh, which Navy career are you going to go for? Uh, going for the... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go for flight. Why not? Let's go for flight. Okay, flight survival is a dex of 7 up. So go ahead and give me your dex roll. Looking good. All right, next up, we're gonna move on that flow chart to roll for events. So I'm gonna give you the Navy events table. If I can. Do I get to keep... roll for commission first? No, so on this, on this flow chart, uh, commission is the next on the flow chart after the ah, event. My bad, yep. my bad. All right, so Navy events. Uh, you are given advanced training in a specialized field. Rolled an education aid up to gain a level of any skill you already have. That's cool. Uh, for character creation, we cannot exceed a uh, uh, skill level four, but at term one, this uh, won't matter. Okay. So you did not. Yeah, no. Yeah, did not get it. Next up is if. Uh, Commission is possible. Do you wish to try? Yes or no? It sounds like a yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Let me make sure it's not. It should be a, a commission is a eight up for your first time. So let me go. It is already set. And I believe that's social. Hey, you're my first. I'm an officer. To, yeah, you're my first one to do that on a character creation this way. All right. So you're gonna go ahead and get the commissioning package. Let me go ahead and give you, uh, so what, what you do is, instead of being a rank zero now at, at flight, I'm going ahead and finding my crazy tables. You are now a officer, you're an ensign, right? Rank one. You get the melee blade to one now, because you guys uh, you like the sword Ooh. duel in space. And if you didn't have melee, you don't have to take melee. If you if you just drag and drop melee blade one, it'll actually put your melee at zero. Don't know if you worked far enough ahead on that one. Just got that. Okay. And am I missing anything for commissioning? I believe that's it. Now you're just in that that rank structure. Now you're no longer flight. You are now officer. Woo! All right. So that would finish uh, your turn. Because you don't get you don't even get the option to muster out when you take the commission. You you owe the Navy four more years. Alright. Yep, and that Alex, yeah. And you're you do you are the commission benefit at once, so you may as well take your melee and whatever else that applies that one for Navy. Good question. Wait, sorry, what? Uh, so when Alex, remember, she uh, she got commissioned oh, from her right, graduation. Oh, right, right. Uh, sorry, so my she, bad. Yeah, yes, and that, her benefit, because she did it with honors, was at a rank one. So she would get the rank one. She should update her rank one benefits now before she starts her second turn. Does it matter if she actually rolls on the table for an increase? 
I don't know that melee blades on there, but it might. Well, melee I think is on one of the tables. All right. So if we follow along, we're not worrying about aging yet. We haven't hit 34 or, or completed term four yet. So we are going to start a new term. I am railroading this session because I'd like to see you all get three sessions in. Um, so far, nobody has made a player connection. Remember to keep that open and your ears open to see what's going on with your, the players at your table. See if you get some free skills out of it. Nobody else went to the Navy Naval Academy, so they couldn't be my enemy. That's true. I very well could have tried to apply with you and just watched that it just failed. That's true. Alright, so we're gonna go to Alex starting in term two. So you'd already see that my highlighter. Are you gonna? You have to stay in your career, so I'm not giving you the option to choose to change careers because uh, of your commissioning. So we know this is. Yep. You already have your base skill package from this, so you already get to roll from the table and bring up my navy table. All right. You have a few tables to roll on, and I want to check your education seven, so you won't get that one. All right. You get your personal development, you get your service skills, and you get your officer commission only table to roll on. Do you know which table you want to roll on? Hmm. Um. Hmm. Think. We'll go with. I think I'll go with um, personal development. Okay, Navy personal development. Roll on it when you're ready. Okay, your dex goes up by one. Just looking up one thing, I do believe, and I correct me if I'm wrong because I'm going to look it up, but I, I, I'll take an input. A, a commissioned officer still has one of these career fields that they're in, right? Or am I wrong on that? That should be the case because officers should still have their specialty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I took flight, I'm still flight. Yeah, you're still a flight officer. So that's this is the only reason I got to ask because we're getting. Alex, you do have to make a survival roll, so I do need to know what kind of naval officer you are now. Are you a, a lion engineer. officer? You are an engineer. Okay. So a engineer uh, survival is an intellect of six. Let me set that. All right. So go ahead and give me your intellect roll. Success. Next up is an event, so I'm going to give you the Navy event table. All right, tables link. All right, you're given a special assignment or duty on board a ship. You gain a plus one on any benefit roll. Very cool. So when you muster out, you get a plus one on any benefit roll. Very cool. All right, I'm going to keep moving on this. So go. I know you're updating, so there's no reason we're going to skip the commission. You're already an officer. I'll get the advancement set, and then when you're ready to roll it, um, just let me know. So advancement. All right, the, the test difficulty is set. Whenever you're ready, your advancement will be on a education. Okay. Am I the one we're waiting for? 
Yep, yeah, whenever you're ready, the test difficulty is set. Yeah, I know you're updating your notes. I know you're methodical about okay. it. Okay, so yeah. What, it, what am I rolling again? All right, education, just to see if you roll for advancement, if you get promoted to the Navy. Ah. Excellent. So, you are now a rank two in the Navy uh, officer, making you a lieutenant or sub lieutenant. And a leadership of one. And bah, 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 you get to pick a table to roll on because you advanced for another improvement, whether you want to do your personal development, your service skills, your officer, or your engineer. Sorry, I'm rolling for what now? All right, so you you get when you're successful on an advancement, you do get to make a skills uh, table uh, roll for another skill improvement or or personal development table if you want. Oh. Okay. So we get to pick uh, again. You get um, to pick which we'll table you want to roll. On. Personal. De we'll do personal development again. Okay, cool. Here's the table for that. All right, endurance went up one, and your hit point pool is just going through the roof. No kidding. All right. Well, for advancement, the next question is: You want to carry, uh, continue with traveler creation? That was only term two, so I'm going to force you to do a term three. All right. You don't have okay. to worry about the effects um, of aging. Okay. Um. Sorry, I missed something. I think I get skill leadership one. Yeah, for the rank now, because you're now rank two in the the officer. The rank is sub lieutenant. Sorry, I just had to up that. Yeah. I had to adjust that. Unless you go do that, yeah, we're done on your part, your portion of the flowchart. So we're going to actually go to conspiracy uh, okay. while, you're, while you're updating your sheet. So conspiracy, you dodged the draft. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, Mike might be muted. Yep, a noble. Nice, that's a fun one. Okay. And of course it's noble because uh, you got out of the draft. Okay. Exactly. All right, so qualification is a 10 up. Unless your social is a 10, then it's automatic. Conspiracy so automatic. Conspiracy social is a 10, so you automatically qualify. All right, so... We're going to get our base service skills uh, set to zero. So here's the noble service skills. If you don't have those uh, skills at zero already, go ahead and start updating your character sheet. If they're already at zero, they do not get improved upon. Yep, that's those. Okay. All right, next one is what kind of goofy noble do you think you're going to be? I might go diplomat. I might be, what I'm saying might be insulting to all nobles out there, I'm sorry. All right, so <laughs> diplomat. Diplomat survival is an intellect of five up. Let me set your task difficulty. It is set. Go ahead and give me your intellect when you're ready. Go ahead 
didn't survive. Next one is roll for an event. Scroll down and get you the event table for Knowles. When you're ready, go ahead and open that up and then click the blue die to roll your event. Cool, so this was a nested table, so it's two things happen. So the, on the event table, it says roll on the life event table and it auto rolled for you that you didn't double click. So that was correct. Right. So birth or death, someone close to you dies, like a friend or a family member. Alternatively, someone close to you gives birth or is, bro or is born. You are involved in some fashion, father or mother, relative or godparent, etc. This is this is literally just the opportunity to create a connection then. Right. And because we're only halfway through term two, if you can't make it now, Bill might be able to do it for you when it's his turn. But that is a that is literally just a uh, a story driver right there for player connections. Okay. So as you're updating that, I'm moving around on the flow chart. No opportunity for a commission as a noble. All right. Next up is the advancement, and we said we're diplomat, right? Yep. So it's so social seven plus. So, yeah, we set the difficulty. Whenever you're ready. Success. All right, so you're going to go and get a uh, rank from 0 to 1 now. And let's see if Diplomat has its own rank. It does. So you go from an intern to a third secretary. Your admin will go from uh, nothing or 0 straight to 1. If you already have it at one, it does not gain an improvement because that, that the, the numeric at the end of it is a hard cap. And then more importantly, to me anyway, is you get to pick on which table you want to roll on for it because you advanced. You could take the personal development, the service skills. Let me check if you qualify for education. You do. You could take an advanced education table or the diplomat table. Do you know which one you'd what? like to do? I'll go to the diplomat table. Okay, here comes the whole diplomat. All right, electronics. You improve your electronics from nothing to zero or from zero to a specialization of your choice. And if you don't, while well, you're updating that, I think I could start moving around because I, like I know, yep. I know you're gonna go to term three. So you don't age, you're gonna start your next term. So we're gonna start- Do I get a skill for actually, do I get a skill for being the diplomat? No, you just got those service skills. That was it. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, sorry, it's first term. Yeah, first term you get the service skills. Yeah, and you, it's all right. The, and you following term, then you get to pick the table. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's all right, I'm getting myself a bit confused. Sorry, good question. All right. Bill, does Bill want to change his career? No, nah, sticking with the Navy, thanks. Okay, so you do get to pick your table now. So you have, let me go and get the Navy going again. So where is my Navy? I gotta go for the flight table. Okay, you're gonna go flight table. I'll drag and drop that. If you're already there, you're welcome to roll on it, but it is coming in chat now. Okay, your gunner goes up by... Uh, by one, whether nothing to zero or if it's a, it's a specialization skill. So if you already add zero or another specialization, you get to improve it. Take a turret, nice. Okay, next up is survival. So let me get the survival for flight. And that is dex 37, we're set. So whenever you're ready for the dex. Nails it. Cool. I live another day. Yeah, well, let's see what the event table says. All right, go ahead and roll for me on the Navy events table. Oh, I'm 
another life event. Cool. Another birth or death. Here you guys go. I'm not going to read that one out loud. That is a duplicate, but another birth or death in the family. Hey, conspiracy. Did the uh, same person die for the both of us? Yeah, I think they did. Well, there you go. Uh, by by the rules, that is a skill increase by one of your each of your choice. And that is one connection made out of your possible three. Um, if it was, I'm just going to say this out loud for the for the audience is that if it was my table, I would ask them to pick a skill that was related to the event. Uh, but that's 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 more of a homebrew. But you, by the rules, you pick anything you want for making that connection. I'll uh, when take I, pilot. I was say, well, don't take your ref for his word. You can take anything you want, but jack of all trades. Should have put that. No, that was a. You didn't see the subtitle when I said it out loud. Okay, so you're set. Next, uh, and you can keep updating that conspiracy with that. Yeah. Uh, next up is roll for advancement. So let me go ahead and get the advancement for fly, edu five. Okay, we are ready for your EDU. Coming online. Hey. Woo, yes. That, and that puts you to, was it two now? Correct, yes. Yep, so sub-lieutenant, leadership one. This is going super smooth. Uh, Alex, Alex, we barely made it through two terms last time. All right, and again, we're going to force you to go through at least your third term together. You're not going to age. All do right. I get a one more roll? Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yep, you, yep, hold me accountable. Yeah, do you know what table you want to roll on for your advancement? You know what? I think I'll take another, uh, uh, the, uh, the flight table. Okay. Uh, if you have it, roll for it. Otherwise, it's in chat. Cool. No, Gunner, Gunner again. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you put that thing to two now. All right. Now, for real, Alex, you staying in your career? Okay. So, my question is are we going to do a. Quick question. A Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Um, um, so, uh, so I dragged uh, Gunner Turret into the into the thing again, and it uh, put a, a second, second line in there. Yeah. So let's. So, uh, yeah. Once it's so that's a good. That's very good. So um, it did what it's supposed to do. We could delete it by clicking on the red edit list in the upper right of that, and then you'll have a bunch of options on the far right to delete it. And all right, I just saw it. So now your turret. And I see it's at level two. That yeah, should be correct. change yeah. that by hand immediately after. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, once you already have the skill, you by dragging and dropping, it won't increase it. You do have to manually update it moving forward. So great question. Noted. Yep. Okay, and Alex, so go ahead. Okay, so my question is, um, in today's session, are we going to go for a fourth turn? I'll, I'll let us go until we're done, because I feel like this is going to go well under... Uh, the four hours I slotted myself. It'll, even if we go the distance, I'd be surprised if we go three hours. Okay. So, so in that case, I would like to stay one more turn. Okay. So, do you know which uh, table you want to roll on? Here's your navy again. I'm thinking... I think I want to roll on the engineer table. Okay, here comes the engineer. Okay, so your engineer goes up by one. Let's see what you had. I did not have it. Okay, that's good. So, now we got so I was hoping for it. We at least got somebody now that could at a minimum do a J drive operation without uh, the, this, the pucker effect. Since I said it, the uh, t 
to jump uh, from one one hex or one parsec to the next system in uh, in Traveler is a chain task event. You you start by somebody making a astrogation check, which is essentially plotting your course, followed by a J drive operation to make sure that the uh, power you power down systems and apply the proper power to the and inject the hydrogen bubble into to real space to generate a wormhole for you to do faster than light travel. Um, if you fail that, which is, it's only a four, if you fail that, really bad things can happen. Really fun things could happen if you're sitting in the rough seat. But yeah, having somebody with at least engineer then start improving on J drive if you're if you are doing a a space faring campaign is important. Okay. I think I need to roll survival. Is that next? Yep. Yep. Sorry for that tangent. Um, oh, it's okay. Education six. All right. I'm set. I'm ready for the education. Uh, intellect. What are? Oh, We're rolling oh, survival. survival. First, I was, right? Yeah. I'm. I'm reading. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I was reading the advancement. <laughs> you're right. Intellect. They happen to be the same, but it's a different. It, yeah. it's, it's a different skill. A uh, different characteristic. It is. Yep. So, yeah. Intellect. All right, this is good. Doesn't have to be bad, but it probably is. I'm giving you the Navy mishap table. Buried in here somewhere. Navy mishap. I found it. Oh, you already got it, okay. Well, when you're ready. All right, you are tormented by by or quarrel with an officer or fellow crewman, gain that character as a rival as they force you out of the Navy. Uh, Was it Bill? me? Bill? <laughs> it could be a connection there. Works for me if, I, you're, if, if you're cool with that. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I was actually gonna go merchant uh, for this one to for the audience at home, but like I'll take another you know uh, round of the navy just for that connection. Cool. All right, so that'd give you both the uh, the uh, skill increase of your choice. All right, so you had a mishap. You will not gain a benefit roll for this term, but you will for your previous terms. So I'll let you first uh, go ahead and update your skill, then let me know when you're ready to start doing the benefit deal. Oh, updating, oh, hang yeah. on. Mm -hmm. And then for everybody else, there is the benefits uh, section of the rules. Why is gun combat on my list twice? I'm not sure. I'm, I wasn't, uh, I didn't watch it get added, so you may just have to just delete it because it would just be a, du a duplicate. Should I increase melee blade and that's how I forced you out? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I'm doing that. Yeah, really, when you think about it, we don't have to actually make those connections in the same term, because when players across the table, we're not gonna really in reality. Say if you got a, you got four players, not all four players are gonna do four terms and then start playing. Some might just do two terms and some might do seven, so that there's no that linear timeline only starts when they actually meet for the first game session. So yeah, you didn't. This this could be. It, it's kind of goofy like that. Low birth does that does that to you. Yeah. Uh, some people don't start being a traveler until age, you know, forty five or I don't know what this is probably divisible by forty two, and then other or forty four, and then uh, some but other other players start traveling at age. Uh, I guess 26. All right, Alex.
Alex, how's it coming? Recording, hang on. Okay. Okay, so I rolled my event, I rolled my mishap, all right, I rolled my survival, I rolled my mishap, that's my, um, and now, now what are we doing? Muster out. So the mishap, you will not get a, a benefit roll for this term, but you did have a one previous successful term in the Navy, and you were already okay. at rank two, so I did put the benefit, uh, the, the rules for the benefit, so your highest rank reached was two. So you do get one bonus benefit roll. So that means you get one benefit roll for the successful term and one benefit roll for the other uh, rank. So I'm gonna give you the Navy benefits table and you're gonna roll on it twice. Um, I, I'm gonna let you roll on both at, at, uh, consecutively and you can tell me if you wanna pick the cash or um, uh, whatever the, the other thing is, uh, benefit. And I'll the cash for you... the benefit. Hang on, I've got something. What? What you're looking? I've got something. Um, special assignment gain DM plus one to any one benefit roll. Cool. So you can make that two of three or that three of four. You could just have to open up the table to see what it is. For for uh, a Dale and conspiracy, how do you guys have you done it at a at a table? Do you uh, have your players decide before they roll? Uh, I typically have them decide before they roll, but you know, yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah. For this, I'm just uh, so we can see it. I'll let the the players uh, pick. But... It, yeah, it makes more sense um, to make you decide before the roll, but sometimes it's more fun to decide after. <laughs> so my, yeah, I know the first time I ran it, I'm just story time. I did it where I I had them roll one at a time and then let them decide before making the next roll, but. I can't. I can't really find it rules as written exactly if it's if it's that specific anywhere. Probably an FAQ if I can't find it. I think Alex, you, you got the gist of that. I can let you keep updating, and we can move on to uh, conspiracies next okay. time while you're while you're going through that. All right, so that was um, creating rollout benefits as the end of your term three. Uh, no worrying about aging. When it comes back to your your turn, you tell me if you want to start a term four or if you're done. But I think I know. So conspiracy, where did we leave off with you? I'm looking. You're still a diplomat. Do you want to I'm change? Still your, yeah, you don't. Do you want to change career? No, I'm still a diplomat. Okay, let me give the uh, noble table up. All right, so you have, let me check one more thing. You have a, f a few tables to roll on this time. You get to pick if you want to roll on your um, personal development table, the service skills table, the advanced education table, or the diplomat table. Do you know or do you need a minute to, to pick? I'm going to take the diplomat table. Okay, here comes the diplomat table for you to roll on. Carouse. Carouse increase because there's no number next to it. It goes up by one. So, And then there's no specialization for carouse. There you go. I see if no. you got it at two. Nice. All right, next up is survival. Let me get to diplomat survival. And that is a intellect of five. All right. Whenever you're ready to make your intellect roll. Success. All right, give you an event. Let me find the noble event. Oh, I almost dropped a noble mishaps. Uh, where is it? Oh, I keep scrolling right by it. There it is, noble events, your way. All right, your reign is acclaimed by all as being fair and wise, or in the case of a dilettante, uh, not you, uh, gain either a jealous relative or an unhappy subject as an enemy. Gain a plus two on your next advancement check. Mm 
I'll take a jealous relative. Cool. It's not their jealous relative. Alright. And move into no commission, sorry, roll for advancement. You gotta get the advancement on. Diplomat is socialist seven. You do get a plus two, right? Yes, get a plus two. So make sure you check that in the dice stack, plus two, and then yep. go ahead and give me the social. Ah, stinker. Failed. <laughs> All right. Fortunately, snake eyes is not a bad thing on the advancement side. No. It auto fails on survival no matter what. But. Yep. Okay, so, uh, all right. Actually, right here, it's just, uh, we, we're at where I said we're going to go at a minimum. Do you want to continue um, with travel? Yep, I'll creation? continue. Okay. And we're not at the aging process. So you'll start a term four. All right. I'll let you start continue updating your sheet as we go, and then I'm going to go to Bill Guy. All right. Another uh, navy term, please. All right. I'll give you the navy table. Uh, commission officer in flight, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, where are we? So, which do you know which table you want to roll on for your skill? Let's track? go for the uh, officer table. Navy officer. You already got it. Leadership. Nice. And let's see. You already have leadership, so I guess you get to pick your specialization in leadership now. Nope. No le no specialization in leadership. Oh, or not? it's tactics. You're thinking. Oh, I'm thinking of tactics. Yeah, navy and military. Correct. Yep. So All right. Next. Up. Uh, survival roll next, right? Yeah. So let me get the. Fl I gotta scroll up and down on a big page. So flight is deck seven up. You're ready. Success. Survive. Now we we'll give you the event table next. If you have it up, you're welcome to roll on it. Otherwise, I'm grabbing it for you right now. Right. Your vessel participates in a notable military engagement. Gain either one of electronics one, engineer one, gunner one, or pilot one. That is cool. Oh boy. Uh, I don't have. I know I'm gunner and pilot. I know I've already got it one. Uh, let's see. Well, there's other specializations. You don't have them all at one, right? Uh, true. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to take electronics because I don't have electronics. There you go. And whenever you're ready, I do have your advancement for education set. All right. Uh, which one? Uh, which skill? Uh, which uh, characteristics that? Yep, education. Success. You get another table to roll on, and you go up a rank. So let's see what your rank is first before you pick your table. That puts you at lieutenant, right? But no new skill or bonus. Rank is three. Um... Yeah, so no new skill. Yeah. Okay. Right, now, which table do you think you want to roll on? Uh, let's go for uh, personal development. It could use an attribute, uh, a characteristic uh, up a little higher. Okay. Ah, cool. Intellect went up one. Awesome. That's one of the ones that, uh, th that get a bonus that this one. Cool. Yeah, hit the next uh, tier. All right, we'll go down my flow chart. So, um, all right, do you want to continue with traveler creation? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, one more term sounds okay. good. Not aging. I did term three. All right, I think we're coming to Alex. That did we forget anything? I think that was it. Okay, right. so I had a question and I typed it in chat so I didn't interrupt and you oh, I may have sounds like it. you might have missed it. Yeah, I did. Um, but that's okay because I knew it would be coming around back to my turn soon so I could ask my question. So for the third term, I mustered out. Do I still put my rank 
Oh, yeah, I would. I would keep it at two. Right, that way you can okay. see how you finished. And you would keep your title. You know, it didn't say, the mishap didn't say you got demoted or anything, so I would assume it's, it's the same. Okay. I just, you know, for my notes. Yep, got it. Okay. Looks good. So, I can't continue with my previous career, but I would like to attempt to become a scholar. You said he's scholar? Yes. Qualification is int plus one with a DM minus one for every previous career. I've only had one previous career, is that correct? That is correct. So yeah, it would be make sure you hit the minus one on the dice stack, but then at your intellect. Yep. Yep. Okay. Ready? Well, I'm ready. Cool. All oh, good. Right. All right, you are a scholar. All right, because this is not your first career, you don't get all six of the uh, scholar service skills. You only get to choose one out of here. So one of these will be at zero now, not all of them. Okay. I'll let you take a look and pick. Just let me know when you got it. I wish they updated that that flowchart. Kind of, I'm rereading it while she's doing it. It, 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 it to me, it insinuates you would get all six of the base skills, but I know it's not. I, I, I looked it up in the rules on that one. Do you guys read it the same way? Yeah, they, yeah. they need to they need to adjust that that graphic. I was counting on getting all six. Yeah, I could get you the rule on that real quick, too. No, I went and looked it up. Yeah, it's under uh, the career descriptions under basic training for anybody who, who's interested. But, yeah. Yeah, I was counting on all six, but that's okay. Pick okay. Next up is roll for survival. So I need to know what kind of scholar you want to be. Let's go. Field researcher. Researcher. So endurance is it's set. So give me the endurance check. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go to the event table and check. You are assigned to work on a secret project for a patron or organization. Gain one of Medic 1, Science 1, Engineer 1, Electronics 1, or Investigate 1. So a one free skill to one out of that list.
Uh, did it come through? I feel like I would. I it did. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. No, I, I'm staring at the skills tab. I like I blinked and I thought I saw a row get inserted, but I didn't see a new one. No, no. I'm 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 thinking. So many interesting choices. I don't know which one to pick. I think Skill increased event recorded. All right, so next up is there's no uh, commissioning. Roll for advancement, and that is, let's see, field researcher is intellect of six, it's set. Ooh, you almost got forced to stay. <laughs> if, you roll, if you roll a 12, you don't have a choice, you have to do another turn, that, that is a rule. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, I'd be happy to do another term anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's what it's really when you start aging is when people don't want that. Or, yeah. Or, or the aging effects have been has been kind of crippling. Then they don't want it to. Um, all right, so you do get to pick on the table again for your new skill and training. So, uh, again, you get the personal development, the service skills, um, not the advanced education. This one requires a 10 and then the field researcher. So any of those three tables to roll for your advanced advancement uh, skill training. I did still use the personal development. My stats are not great. So personal development. Personal development. Here it comes. Hey. Oh, nice! I like this. Got a language. Because you already had language zero, so now you get to pick one. Actually, I had... I forgot, but... Um, yeah, I opt language from something else when I had a choice. Yeah, but I think language has specializations. I think it does, yeah. and I'd forgotten that. <laughs> Yeah, they sure do. So go ahead and update with your specializations that you should call. So for. I need to, I need to fix, I need to fix that. Yeah. Um, oh, choices, choices. Hang on, let me record what I got, and then you can move on while I'm deciding. Well, this is the end of term four, which I believe we had to hold up for you for aging. But if we could all do it together, I could do that. That's fine. It's... It, yeah. Um, oh, I advanced, so I also get a science. Uh, yeah, yeah. At right. one. That is cool. Lovely. So, yeah, nice. Get the s specialization. Well, there's a lot of good skills in there. I could hold you up at aging. And then we could we could all kind of go to do that together when we all hit it. I like that plan. That gives me time to um, do things with to update my sheet and make decisions without holding everybody up. Okay, we'll do that. Next up is uh, conspiracy. So term four. I'm going to stay and stay as a diplomat. Okay, so let me give you the noble table. And then you know which table you want to roll on for your skill and training? Yes, I do. If you have it, you will. Um, personal development. Okay. Strength plus one. So 
for survival. Yep, survival is a intellect five up. Survived. It says, did your did your strength go up? Yeah, it did. Went from five to six. Oh, it's just not showing up. Okay, I better play out a refresh. I'm I have your sheet open. Okay. All right, so as long as it's good on your end, we're good. Yep. Um, survive. Let me move. Roll for events is next. Let me give you the noble event table. Okay, there you go. All right. Easy peasy. You got a new contact. You'd annotate a new contact. Uh, your your ref could uh, use an NPC in this game, or we it is a life event, so somebody in the table could could make a contact if you haven't made a connection with them yet. Yep. All right, we are already on roll for advancement. So let me get the advancement for diplomat is a social of seven. I am ready when you are. Yes. Alright, so you advance. Let's see where we're at on that. So you were at rank two. So you're at rank two. <coughs> Ranks there. So second secretary. Uh, no new skill or bonus, but you do get to roll on a skill and training table if you want. Well, of your choice. Yep. I'm going to take an advanced education. Alright, let me get that table for you. Ready when you are. Diplomat. Oh, cool. You would think you should be at one already, but you are now a diplomat one, as, yep. a, as a diplomat. Right. That's that done. So Alex has got a question that actually I don't know the answer to. If you guys read that chat, is uh, I could relate it to like D and D. Uh, we have a common language. Is there a common language in the Third Imperium? Um, Ganglic. It is Anglic. So okay. So then you don't yep. want to specialize that then, Alex, unless maybe you were Varga or Aslan. Yep. Okay. So I don't want to pick that one because it's kind of assumed that that's my native language. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. My next question then on uh, conspiracy is if you want to continue with traveler creation. Either way, it's the end yep. of your turn four, so we're looking at aging. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll hold you I'll up. Again. Okay, yeah, I'm going to hold you up at aging though, so we'll do it together yep. as, as learning uh, as a class session. But uh, next up is uh, Bill Guy. All right, I am going to switch careers on you. Cool. What are we going to do? Going to go for a merchant free trader. There's our new merchant uh, page, and our qualification is pretty good. Intellect plus four, or four plus. Did I get it in in time? I did. All right. Um, now. Oh, sorry. I forgot to change. I forgot that you have to change that. My bad. Nope, that's right. But there should have been a minus one because you had a previous career. Either way, we know you're good. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Not your first career, so you only get to pick one skill to zero from this table. On the service skill table, correct? Yep, yeah, the one, yeah, merchant service skills table. Persuaded so. it. Cool. All right, and what kind of you said merchant? You want to be a free trader? So a, uh, Yes, correct. Okay, so then uh, when you're ready, I have your survival already set. It'll be dexterity. Oh. 
Oh. All right, success. Barely. All right, next up is the merchant events table. Ready when you are. You make an unexpected connection outside your normal circles. Gain a contact. Well, wasn't there somebody else that gained a contact? Yeah, that was me. But we've already... Um... Uh, you've already got your connection. Yep. All right. That would have been a good opportunity. All right. Uh, no commission. All right. So you are... We're currently at free trade. Advancement, right? Yeah, I just I was looking at the, uh, the promotion. So there is a rank zero, and there is nothing at rank zero for free trader. All right, now let me go to the free trader advancement. Is the intellect of six up? So we are ready. Intellect. Okay. Don't. So no advancement, but this, uh, if you're going to fail anywhere on that flow chart, then this is a good spot because there's no consequence. Mm -hmm. and then the next question is you want to continue? Yes or no? And I'll ask that question. Technically, I should ask it now, but we'll do it at the age because we're all going to be doing this together. We're all 34 older at the end of term four. All right, so let me get the rule and drag and drop it into the chat chat. Okay, so that's something we kind of circumvented. Now I'm not gonna use it for this session. Um, you do choose if you want to start taking anagathics, but you have to declare that at the beginning of the term, not when you're ready to make the aging effect. Um, pros and cons of doing that. Uh, pros is you could uh, avoid getting aged when, on, a, on a bad roll. Uh, the cons is uh, you could end up in prison, at worst case. Uh, but it costs it costs money too after the first time you use it, because you got to find your dealer. All right, so the way aging works, there is no table for us to roll on uh, a functional table in Fantasy Grounds. We just have a visual table, the aging table. And all we do is we're going to roll 2D and then subtract the amount of terms we have already done. So for everybody, because we're all in the same term together, it's going to be 2D minus 4. You could, in your modifier box in the bottom left corner at the dice stack, you could actually type in there minus 4. And all you want is a positive number. That's really all you're looking for. So Alex, you are a negative one. Uh, yeah, it did not roll like it was like I expected it to. So. That's fine. So uh, you're the only one that is on the wrong side of, of one. So at minus one, you're going to reduce two physical characteristics by one. You see, I saw this in you before that happened. That's why I kicked you out of the Navy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I know we haven't seen it this session, but if you lose uh, characteristics in your career during the actual career events, you could actually gain them back. You cannot recover aging. Um, right. Yeah, well, without okay. implants and stuff, but aging is a little bit more permanent. We can't uh, can't fight time like we want to. Who needs strength, right? Mm, Alex does. <laughs> I don't know if she could afford to lose any more on that one. I was debating doing that anyway. Well, I mean, if I drop if I drop my strength or my endurance by one, I don't lose. I the modifier doesn't change. Oh, but if I drop my dexterity by one, I lose my modifier. I see. That also might be worth doing it then. I mean, <laughs> as long as you're not zero, you're not unconscious. So I was I, I, I was I was going to do in, drop the endurance by one because I can afford that. Um, if I drop the strength, that's a little 
dicey, but I don't change my modifier. Yep. If yep. I drop the dexterity, it's a little better, but I lose the modifier. Yeah, your encumbrance will probably get lowered, but yeah, you're right, the modifier will stay the same. Yeah, and since I don't actually have any plans to actually play this character, um, I don't think it really matters that much. Oh, there is that, yep. Always picture too, if you were in a, in a good, well-rounded party, someone would be able to, to compensate the, the low strength. Exactly. Somebody would be able to, you know, carry my shit for me. Yep. That's what the robots are for. Yeah, that is the nice thing about the future. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. So Alex is cool. aged. Uh, and Bill and Conspiracy are good. Okay. That is the end of turn four. Does anybody wish to muster out? We got we definitely got time for another turn for sure. I will muster out. Oh, I heard two things at once. I'll muster out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'll muster out. All right, conspiracy. Same here. Muster. Gonna muster out. All right. And how about you, Alex? You want to? I can stick around. We'll do another turn at least. I want to do one more. Okay. I want to do one more. This is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. This is it's a totally unique uh, role playing experience. So we'll do the muster outs. That way we don't hold anybody hostage if they got other things they need to do uh, today. Or Before tonight. we actually go forward, yeah. Um, Alex, with your last life event, I received the contact. You actually had a patron um, assisting you. I'd like to use that as the um, connection. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So okay. So that's that means both uh, conspiracy and Alex made a player connection. They each get to increase the skill of their choice by one. Cool. So while you're doing that, I'll get the benefits rules all set up for you, conspiracy. And mobile. I've done my skill. Okay, so we're ready for the mustering out benefits. So I'm yes. looking. I'm looking at your personal tab. You have uh, three terms in noble, and you yep. are rank two. So you're going to get uh, th looks like four rolls total. Yep. And I don't remember any anybody at this table so far getting any events where they get any kind of bonuses at this point for their uh, the benefits. Correct me if I'm no. wrong. Okay. So it'll be four straight up rolls then on that uh, noble mustering out benefits. I'm going to take two on benefits and two on cash. Gotcha. I'll do the benefits first. Good idea. Oh, yeah. All right, so you got 50% mortgage on it yet. And a TAS membership. Nice. Nice, very nice. So and now the, the cash. Well, he's rolling the cash. Uh, Never a bad thing, yeah. Yeah, so you get the two, um, on a, if you roll for a scout ship, you do own a scout ship straight up. Any other ship, off the top of my head, you own 50%, which means you have a 50% mortgage. If you roll it a second time, it goes to 75% ownership and a 25% mortgage. If you hit it three times, the same ship, three times on a mustering out, you own it 100% flat out. Do you guys think I explained that right? Yeah. It, sounds, yep. it sounded right coming out, but... Okay. All right, ship shears are worth money, and the blade. Uh, this is really technically of your choice. Uh, ref could set tech level limits based on where the the starting world home world is. Um, for this, I up to you. If you want to take anything, I'll tech level oh, fifteen. The, those okay. the, the last two are the money. Oh, you took money. Okay, sorry. Yeah, good. Oh, take the money. Yeah, on your main tab of your character sheet, then is a cash on hand column. 
or there's a finance column with a cash on hand row. Yep. And you didn't do five terms in your career, so you don't qualify for a pension. You didn't nope. uh, accrue any debt. Look pretty clean. Nice, nice career. Right. Done. Cool. And then um, let's see the the bill guy Dale. Did you want to muster out to? Yeah, please if you can. Yeah, bring yours up, and we are gonna go with merchant. Right. We didn't do. Right. Do we ever muster out for you for the navy though? No, we haven't. So I'll start with the navy first. Oh, I didn't. You don't need that. You need just the muster out. So here's the muster out. And do you remember, was it four terms? Three terms as the Navy? Three Navy and one uh, merchant. So three and you were rank three. So rank three benefits gives you two extra benefit rolls, right? Uh, yes, I was rank three. So I, I don't know how many extra benefit rolls that gives me. Yep, I'm showing you two, two bonus benefit rolls. So that's going to be a total of five on the Navy. Nice. And uh, once you do that, then I'll then I'll drop you the merchant one after you roll those first. So go ahead. Uh, you gave me uh, navy events. Oh, I'll do that five times because that'd be funny. All right, uh, navy mustering out benefits. So either do it like um, Conspiracy did and before you roll tell me what you're taking or before you make your next die roll tell me what you took rather than get the whole pool of them. I can only imagine if you're if you're taking straight the education the whole way. So I'll, while you're rolling these out, I'll talk about that the um, you know how we don't gain levels, we gain uh, skill improvements through training. At the end of a training period, which is eight weeks, if it's a it's a lower level skill, if it requires one training block anyway, at eight weeks after your training session is done, you still have to make an education check of eight or higher to see if you actually improve that skill. Uh, so seeing Bill Guy roll all these education plus ones is pretty cool. And I'm going to roll the merchant mustering out. So I'm going to take the cash on this one. Okay. Well, then again, you know, a free trader, if I roll a six, yeah. I'm not going to roll. I'm not going to roll a six. Well, that'd, be only be a, that'd be a 50% mortgage on a free trader. I don't know if you want that. Still. Oh, yeah, it's I'm, not insignificant. That's a huge I'll number. just take the cash. All right, you got enough for some dinner. So six thousand in total. Six thousand in total, uh, an education bump, and a uh, uh, what's it called? Two ship shares. Okay. Awesome. All right, so for Dale and conspiracy, uh, that is the end of your character creation session. You're welcome to stick around and watch Alex go. Thanks, I'll check out. Sounds good. Well, hey Dale, are you still with me? 
I am, yes. Are you, do you care about the uh, the skills package that you get as a uh, as a group? We still got you know like the traveler or the explorer. Oh, oh so it helps if I actually press the t talk button. Huh? Um, yeah, I'll stick around for that. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll get Alex through one more, and then same thing, conspiracy. So you're welcome to go. You don't. I don't want to hold your no. message if you're done. I'm gonna stay. Okay. So that, all right, and then we'll, that way you guys can start picking out that skill package when we're done. Okay, cool. All right, then we're gonna go back to Alex. I think we're on turn five for Alex, and we are. What are we research? We are staying as a field researcher. All right. So you my scholar. You probably have these saved already. All right. So do you know which table do you want to roll out of? Uh, what I really need is more personal development. Because for some reason, my characteristics keep dropping, which is the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have strength in this one, but your other two physicals are. It's okay. I still have endurance and dexterity. Education. I get education. Excellent. Now we're on roll for survival for a researcher. All right, I'm already ready for you. So endurance whenever you're ready. It would help if I could type correctly instead of tangling up my letters. Uh, it is a, an endurance roll, you said? Yep. For survival on a field researcher is endurance. Okay, you are good. We're going to go to the events table. Scholar events. All right, you become entangled in a bureaucracies or legal morass that distracts you from work. Gain one admin, advocate, persuade, or diplomat at one. So one of those. And again, because there's a number next to it, you can't exceed that value on your, your skill tab. Right, now I have to go figure out what those do. <laughs> Yeah, advocate is like lawyering. So if you uh, you need to get in some legal binds, that's good for that. Mm. Admin, I think of uh, the scene out of the uh, the first uh, Guardians of the Galaxy where they go to that bureaucratic world and have to fill out the paperwork. So if you're ever there, you're going to need admin. Admin cuts the, helps you know how to navigate red tape. Got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I think persuade is probably self-explanatory, and diplomat you would use in uh, either um, the, the mega corporation or in government situations. Okay. Okay. Uh, picked it. Okay, then roll for advancement. Add advancement for a fuel researcher is intellect. Six, it's ready for you. Uh, all right, well, no consequence. You do not advance. All right, and then we're aging, so that was the end of turn five, so give me the 2D. Uh, minus five now. All right, zero is reduce one physical characteristic by one.
This is the one. This is gonna be a super sad choice where no matter which one you you take, you're you're losing a mod. No. Okay. Oh, then I know where it's coming from. <laughs> And I'm done. All right. <laughs> All right. And then are you done? Is an updating your sheet or done with character creation? You want to do one more time? Um, I'm, 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 I'm done with character creation. Yeah, usually a couple... I'm rolling... Yeah, a couple filled Asian rolls usually does it to most players. Yeah, I'm rolling really badly on my on my aging rolls, so I'm I'm, I'm done. Let's roll for benefits. Uh, all right, so you're gonna muster out benefits. Let me get you. Let's take a look at your character sheet. So I owe you for. Did we do your engineer yet? I don't think we did. So I'm gonna owe you that. Right. Which we should have done. So navy mustering out benefits. Right, so you have um, two terms in Navy, so it's going to be two rolls and a rank two. We so did Navy. We did do Navy. We okay. did Navy. That's what I thought. I knew somebody, it was it was just one one that we skipped. All right, so I owe you a scholar then. Uh, yeah. Oh, there, that's my end then. Yeah. Okay. So scholar mustering out benefits. You only rank one, so let me give you the benefit staple too. So at rank one, you get a one bonus roll. You have two terms in field researcher. So that's gonna give you a grand total of three muster out benefits. So scholar mustering out benefits, three of them. Either before you roll, tell me which one you're gonna take cash or the benefit, or after you roll, tell me which one you're taking. Just don't make a pool of them. Um, I'm gonna roll each one and then decide. Okay, fair enough. Cash. You said I get a total of three of these? Yeah, you get three rolls total. Then double check your notes to make sure you don't have any uh, bonuses to any of these. I don't. Okay. Man, your notes are meticulous. Take the cash on the second one. Huh. Ooh, um, no, we're, we're taking the cash on that one. So it looks like we're adventuring in a lab ship. Oh. No, I'm taking I'm taking the cash on that one. I, it, it's tempting, but um, the, it, it's tempting, but no. Yeah, that one. My focus, my focus ended up being linguistics, um, which is more. Um, Field work and um, computer data analysis, rather than um, lots of fancy equipment to run tests on things. Yeah, lab ship requires four successes, so it starts the first time you get it. You own twenty five percent with a seventy five percent mortgage. Same yeah. With the, yeah, same with the free trader. So I'm I'm taking the cash on those. So uh, that's sixty thousand plus thirty thousand is ninety thousand plus five thousand is ninety five thousand. I got two ship shares. Just saying. I mean, you know, that seventy five drops to a seventy three. There you go. But I guess you're still upset at me for uh, booting you out of the navy. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault I had to leave. All right, well, Alex is updating that. I'm going to share these skill packages. All right, this is the final stage. Um, usually your ref will tell you what kind of campaign he or she is going to be running. And then uh, you kind of pick the skill package to tailor it to you. Um, the, the common default one is the Traveler skill package. Yeah, this is a well-rounded one. Uh, I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and pick out of that one. But you get, I, I shared the link so you can see what all of them are. And we could go round robin or you could talk it out. And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna take those skills until they're all gone or until you, you, you literally can't take them anymore because everybody has that, whatever is remaining at one. So let the table decide how they wanna divvy these up.
if they want to do a method or if they want the ref to moderate and have them roll. It's up to up to you guys. I'd like to just talk about it and just discuss it. Well, what kind of game do we want, guys? Do we want to be criminals because, you know, we all took such criminalistic backgrounds? <laughs> he said we're taking the, we're using the traveler skill oh, package. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My yes. bad. Yeah. My I bad. Mean, so you, it's just a matter of how do we, how do we want to divvy up the skills? And I say we discuss it. Yep. I agree. Yeah, sorry, I kind of did railroad you into it, but the players could change. Even if the ref says, hey, you guys are going to be doing a bunch of exploring, that doesn't mean that the, the table can't say, well, well, we'll take the mercenary skill package anyway. But, yeah, it's just for this, for this, just go work off the traveler skill package and go go off that. Well, I've already got pilot one, so I vote not me for that one. Okay, I have pilot zero. And then oh, I don't have pilot at all. And then what kind of pilot are you? Because that, that'll help them. They don't that way. Then maybe they don't duplicate the same pilot. I have uh, pilot spacecraft. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm happy to take it, and I would choose small craft. Um, but I don't have to take it. No, I think you should take it. Okay. Uh, let me grab... You don't ever want to sit in the pilot's chair? Is that what you're saying? Uh, that's what you guys are for. <laughs> yeah, the, that's the dilettante talking. <laughs> hang on. Okay, hang on. Notes. <laughs> So the next one is deception. I do not have anything in deception. Um, Nothing there either. Oh, I don't think any of us have it. I would be willing, but I just took one, so... It's like, that's oh, oh. I could take it. There's a couple of uh, others that are here that uh, I'm not going to be eligible for, so I'll take Deception. Okay. Not so Deception has been taken. Electronics. I would be willing to take that, or somebody else can. No, you can take it. I've got Electronics Sensors 1. I've got Electronics Computers 1. Okay, now I have to pull up the skills list and uh... Okay, so we we have somebody has computers, somebody has sensors. Yep, correct. Okay. Well, I guess I was going to take computers, but I guess I'll take um, comms because that kind of fits. Computers fits better, but to make a well-rounded party, I will take comms. Excellent. Next up is Gunner, and I've got that at two for turret. I'll take that if that's all right. I'll take screen. Go for it. Go for it. Take Gunner. All you. Next up is gun combat, which I already have. For, I have gun combat energy at one. I'm happy to take that. Okay. And I'll take that as a slug. You'll take slugs? Okay, you can take slugs. Who 
Persuade one. I'll take that if that's all right. Go for it. Sure, I got persuade zero, so. I like talking to people. Then the last two I would kind of like, but I'm happy to share. We have oh, stealth one and medic one. I've got medic one, so. Okay. I have neither of those, but my uh, my dex is a ten, so that would make me a good candidate for stealth. Yep, you can have stealth. You, take, you can have medic. You take stealth. I'll take medic. Okay, it sounds yep. like you guys have a good plan. Well-rounded group. 